Welcome to day two of the seven day yoga challenge for runners. Today we are focusing on the feet, the ankles and the calves, particularly improving the range of motion through your ankle and toe joints and relieving the tension through the sole of the foot and the calf muscles, which is really common for runners. Uh, so this is great for uh, making sure that you're also running correctly. We want our toes to be able to extend properly so that we can move through the sole of the foot rather than rolling into the ankle and affecting the joints all the way up the rest of the body in turn. So you're going to make your way to sit on your heels. If you have uh, really tight hamstrings, you might find having a, a strap or a tie or a scarf handy for a couple of the stretches at the end of the class. And then also if you really struggle with your balance, you may want to be near a wall. Uh, we're not doing too much balance today, just if you feel like you would need that support, be near a wall. So you're sitting your pelvis onto your heels. Just take one palm onto your belly, one palm onto your heart. And we're going to start the class as always, just with a little bit of uh, connection inwards. So close your eyes and start to focus your breath into your bottom palm. Inhale, feel the bottom palm expand, open the belly and the chest. Take a pause at the top and you're going to sigh the air out your mouth. So we inhale, healing, calming energy into our body. We exhale the tension that is built up over time. Last one in your own time. Reminding ourselves that this practice is one to appreciate and give love to our bodies. When you're ready, just release the palms from your skin. Blink open your eyes. We're going to start with what's called a fascial rinse for the soles of your feet. So you're going to rock forwards onto the hands. Knees are hip width distance, then tuck your toes. Sit the bum back towards the heels. This might be more than enough if you're feeling really tight in the soles of your feet. You can stay here. If it feels accessible, see if you can come up and bring a bit more weight over the heels. From here, we're going to alternate between those. So you're going to rock back forwards, untuck toes, sit your bum back onto your heels and stretch the front of the ankle. Keep alternating, tuck your toes, sit back, stretching into the toes, you're in dorsiflexion of the ankle. And then we release and we come to plantar flexion. Nice, so we're mobilizing your ankle joint and we're also sending a signal to the fascia and the sole of your foot to release and to let go. And this is going to have a huge impact on all of the connective tissue that runs up the entire posterior chain. Nice, so come back to this toes pose, so tuck your toes under. If this is enough today, stay here. See if you can join me straightening out your toe joints though. If you want a little bit more, come up so that you're sat on the uh, heels. And again, take your fingers to your toe joints. Try to straighten them out along the mat as much as you can. So we get those crooked toe joints lengthened as much as we can. And especially if this is the morning, you're probably not going to find that all 10 toes connect. That's completely normal and fine. Uh, but hopefully with time, if you repeat this video, you'll find that you get more and more length through those toes. Therefore, you get more mobility through the sole of your foot as you run. Take the hands, just rest them on the thighs. You can close your eyes if you like, focusing on our breath. You'll probably start to feel quite a strong burning sensation through the sole of the foot. And that is exactly what we're going for. That's the feeling of that connective tissue being stretched through the sole of the foot. It's gonna impact tissues all the way up the back body, right into the crown of the head. Well done, one more breath here. Ooh, and release forwards. Untuck the toes. You can take a little patter out through your feet and hopefully you'll feel a fresh rush of blood or fluids back into those joints. From here, take your right leg long behind you and tuck the toes under. Just rock back and forth through your ankle there. That's it. So hopefully you can really feel how that stretch opened up space through your foot for you. You might be getting a couple of uh, clicks or pops here as tension releases and then release your knee down change sides 
take some rocks back and forth, feel that space in the toe joints. It's also a great way to straighten out toe joints that get crooked over time from being inside shoes, from running inside your trainers. They're not, being, they're not able to fully spread as much as they need to. So this is gonna help with that support. And then release that knee, lovely. So your fingers are spread super wide, tuck your toes, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna lift up and back to our downward facing dog. So let your head hang, your armpits spiral in towards your face. And we're gonna take alternations through our heels. So again, we're continuing with this ankle mobility. We've got a deeper range now. So hopefully you can get a little bit further into that flex of the toes, that's it, that extension of the toes, and then the release. Nice, you're gonna press your right heel into the mat and the left heel is gonna stay off and you're gonna uh, reach your tailbone up to get a nice opening, hopefully, in the calf muscles of your right leg. Breathing into the back of the leg where you feel the tension, maybe it connects into the back of the knee, maybe you feel quite a lot in your hamstrings as well. Really nice change sides. So holding for a couple of breaths, the left heel presses into the mat. Maybe this side feels a little tighter or maybe it's more open. Noticing if there are discrepancies between the sides. Really lovely. Now press both heels into the mat get that big stretch in the calves walk your hands in towards your feet keep your knees super bent and we're going to slowly roll up curling through our bones lovely from here keep your feet underneath your hips and we're going to take chair pose or a variation of chair pose like a pilates squat you're going to push your tailbone back behind you hinging your hips take an inhale exhale keep the core really active as you pick the heels up off the mat inhale to lower the heels and exhale to straighten back up let's do that a couple more times so sit back inhale exhale heels off inhale heels down exhale press ups so now this is active range of motion so this is mobility for your ankles and your toes whilst the muscles are engaged last time heels up heels down down lovely working that hip knee and ankle alignment we want them to track in the same plane sit back into your squat here and now from here let's bring the heels up and down on their own so heels up and down that's it so we're trying to strengthen these ankles through this big range of motion last one if you need to hold on to something this is where you would have that assistance and then come up, really nice. Take your right foot forwards, left foot backwards. We're gonna take a lunge, so get your feet on separate tracks in line with your hips. And we're gonna bend deeply into the back knee, aim for 90 degrees in both of the knees, inhale. Exhale, you're gonna press your back heel towards the mat and hinge forwards over your front thigh. So you get a lovely big calf stretch. Inhale to drop the knee down at the back there, bring the torso upright. Exhale, press the heel into the mat and hinge forwards nice let's go about three more so now we're working sole of the foot ankle and the calf muscle we've integrated it all let's go two also a great opportunity uh, to work that hip knee and ankle tracking well done and change legs. So your left foot comes forwards, your right foot comes backwards, you're on the ball of the back foot. And directly drop that knee underneath the hip, 90 degrees in your legs, inhale. Exhale, press the heel to the mat as you hinge forward, stretch the back calf muscles. Inhale, drop the knee, long lower back. Exhale, press your heel to the mat. Three more, so it's a transition of weight as you bend and extend the back knee as well. So the weight is coming further forward. That's it, two, press. Last one, notice if your range is increasing with each repetition. So lovely, let's come up. Stand back at the back edge of the mat, feet back underneath your hips, inhale, exhale, drop the chin to the chest, roll all the way down, 
walk your hands out to a downward facing dog. Really press the heels into the mat, last down dog here. Maybe you take those alternations if that feels good. And then release the knees down. We've got one last little passive stretch. So sit your bum back onto the mat. Take your legs forwards. This is where you may want a strap to go around the sole of the foot. So take your right foot to your left inner thigh. If you have a yoga strap or a scarf and if you feel like you're tight in your hamstrings, you can take that here. You can also sit your pelvis on a cushion if you find this is happening and you struggle to get the pelvis to tilt forwards over the hamstrings. Once you feel comfortable either holding your strap or we're just going to reach for the leg if you don't have a strap, we're going to inhale, lengthen as you exhale, tip the pelvis anteriorly, tip it forward so you hinge at your hip and you can hold onto your calf, your ankle or ideally see if you can hold the foot and flex the toes back so we get that nice stretch through the sole of the foot and deeply into the calf muscles. Also get a nice bit of hamstring here, a bit of outer hip on the right side. Breathe into your back. One more breath. And then slowly we stack, lovely change sides. So the right foot comes forwards, the sole of the left foot to the right inner thigh. Get nice and vertical in your pelvis, take an inhale. As you exhale, then tip that pelvis forwards, trying to open the back of your right leg, holding on either to the calf, the ankle, or ideally, see if you can hold the sole of the foot and flex your toes back towards your face. So you may require a strap to get that flex. But if you don't have one, just working with your body, working with where you're at, you're still gonna, gonna get a nice stretch for the posterior chain here. Breathe into everything you feel. One more breath. So nice. Let's slowly restack the bones of our spine. Find a comfortable seated position and we'll close the practice here. Inhale, draw your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the palms together at your heart. Close your eyes. Take a little moment to really become aware of your feet, your ankles and your calves. Just notice if they feel a sense of rejuvenation, relief, but a space where there wasn't space before. And also just take this time to thank this area of your body for everything it does for you. From the moment you wake up in the morning and you walk around immediately, everything they do. Thank you so much for joining me and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for day three.